Yeah, I think the uh, comparisons to like Zealous Belting, they do two completely different things. I'll go first. Okay. Let's do Rouse the Ancient showing you a uh, disable and choke slam. Seven go again. That's a pretty good turn one. Six. Uh, it's only four that I'll block two. Oh, right. That is four. My bad. <laughs> Uh, I will not arsenal. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to righteous for ten. All right. Let's block here, here, and here. Cool. Take one. Hammer for four. Take one. I'm going to make a token. I'm about to show you something that I've set up from uh, turn two, okay? See, the way that I've got this uh, pitch deck, I know that I've got crippling blue blue on the bottom, and then it's going to be blue crippling, so I know when I get to the bottom uh, loop, I've already got my back-to-back -back crippling set up. Uh, nice. Six. That's cool. Now that's nice. how early you need to be thinking about this, because about turn 11, I'm going to go crippling into crippling. Yeah, and now pitch, I know for the, uh, the next two things. That I, have a, I have a lot to learn on that front. Um, let's see. Take six. Yeah, that's free damage there, I think. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to block three, and then we're going to sink. Sure. So knowing that my crippling is down there, I'm going to pitch the rails so that I've also got the option to rouse plus a weapon, and then crippling, and come in for four. I'll sync that. Cool. Using the effect? Nope. No sync. No. I'm going to sigil. Go to 40. I'll make a seismic. Mm -hmm. And spinal. Uh, we're going to block three. Six and take three. Sure. Now, because I know that the bottom stack of the uh, deck is crippling plus rails, I'm going to pitch the uh, cranial crush so that I know the rails is turned on as well. And to tear asunder, and we're going to go seven. Hmm, let's go. Pass reactions and. Cool. Double pitch for a staunch. Cool. Seismic breaks. Play sigil. Okay. Pass. Right, I'm just going to cranial for eight. Block three and fate, take one. Cool. Uh, opt one. We'll keep that there. Sure. Is 
six. Six. So the key thing is, at the moment, we know that I've got the option to go crippling into Rouse weapon into crippling into Rouse. Yeah, it's a pretty hefty series of turns at the end there. Yeah, but you see I've already set it up from like turn four. Yeah. Let's... Given the rate that you're uh, giving me defense reactions as well, I think the first one you'll be able to block, but the second one probably not likely. Oh, block three. Cool. Spinal dominated. How much do I care about that? Do I just want to come back for that? We're going to block eight. Okay, take one. Cool. Uh, we're just going to come in for six. Six. Right. Sure. Sigil. Arsenal. Sink. Cool. Let's Dominate, disable. 
Eight with dominate. Uh, leave that on top. Uh, my good. Yep. Mage boots. Turn. Cool. I've got uh, one floating. We're just righteous. All right. Really? Okay. Any reason why you chose to use the equipment there instead of just cards in hand? Uh, based on what I can do with my next turn, basically. Okay. It might not be the right choice. So let's see, I blocked... Yeah. How much did I block there? I blocked two, four, seven, took three. Yep. Okay. Um, let me think about this. They obviously want to pummel it, which is not worth giving up a crippling into equipment for. That's fair. Kind of just want to get it out of my arsenal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, alright. I guess I'm taking 10. Yep. Sure. Uh, mango. No dominate. Nope. Okay. Floating two. Interesting. So pummel gets it to twelve. All right, we'll pummel and get the react. <clears throat> no react. Okay, take three and discard. And I'm going to remembrance. Uh, and reaction to the discard, I'll sigil. Sure. Okay, so we've got one of them. Okay, bouncing, bouncing, and tear us up. Yeah, I've always liked Belting as the Remembrance target. Yeah, it depends what stage of the game the uh, Remembrance comes up. Like, I mean, at this stage, I know I've got a lot of four-card hands ahead of me, um, because I get to put you on the back foot from here. Uh, given that your equipment's already taxed, uh, that your deck's threat light, it's going to make you playing a Remembrance even more costly. Mm. Um, good thing is, I also just remember, uh, ruined my uh, pitch deck, but it's fun. So, yeah, I'll be draw-passing. So I just go make a token, then five with go again. Mm. Now you're forced to block as much as you can and just try and really set up for turns now, I think. Even though yeah. your are gone, most of your reactions are gone. Um, really awkward blocking hand cool. so you'll see that i could have easily blocked nine on that um oh, i could have blocked like six or nine on that um anathos with pummel um i could have like blocked and just remembrance and set up and still been at 36 life but just knowing to take the damage there so i can put the momentum back on you hmm that's smart 
Okay, I wish you could see how awkward my hand is right now. Yep. Um... Let's block two. I'm oh, good. Now kill in for six. Yeah. Uh... You're taking a lot of unnecessary damage as well. Mage Master. Uh -huh. Tome. Cool. Seismic. Swing four. Pick four. Uh, five Gogan. Hmm. Okay. Five Gogan. <laughs> Nice. Uh, take five. Okay. And six. pass now uh, this happens are uh, we just going to righteous for 10 Seismic, pass. Uh, we just dominate cripple. Let's go. Dominate Crippling. Okay. 
go into block three and then we're going to react. So you see at this stage of the game, like uh, all your cripplings are gone, your spinals are all gone. Uh, you've got two Terra Sunders left in the deck. I think you've got like two defense reactions left. There's just nothing there. Four. Danny M, can you please mute yourself? Thank you. Uh, let's go. Mangle, dominated. Box seven, take one. Let's go four. Block three. Oop. The jewel. Disable for seven. Take one. I'm going to make a token. Non. So pass. Okay. Make a token. Six. Two floating. Six. Okay. Uh, us or us. Six. Two floating. Box six. This happens. Just going to come in for five, pitching the crippling and the sigil. <laughs> okay, let's let's see. Next thing would cost one more. Three. Cool. Take two. You're up. Righteous. Thinking. 
got a block with the uh, tech plate and the pummel. And then we're going to sink below. So I'm blocking uh, seven, putting this to the bottom. Okay. I'll take three. I'm just going to make a token arsenal bus. Not bad. Only got five blue, uh, five reds in a row there. Uh, let's start with a uh, remembrance. Cool. Any reason why you're doing that now and not at the, uh, the end part of your turn, where you could like leverage it to be a pummel or anything? What do you mean by leverage it to be a pummel? So by keeping it in hand, you can represent the extra card or extra resources to make me think about a pummel, right? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I can... By playing it out, it's just one less card that I have to think about. Okay, I can appreciate that advice. I'll keep that in mind for next time. Let's grab... Imagine Terror Sunders are probably the best target to this point, yeah? Yeah, well, a lot of this game you're going to be playing with, like, what, two card hands now? Let's go tear sunder. Oh, that's the only one in my graveyard. So let's grab. Zealous and. Let's grab crippling. Disable blue. Nothing floating. Uh, we're just going to fake some. Okay. Back to the bottom. This happens. And to rouse. Crippling and cuddle. Okay. I'll uh, move to reactions. Cool. Block six. Taking, taking one. Then make a token. We'll come in for six. Mm. Yeah, Daddy's busy, darling. <laughs> right, off you go. Yeah, daddy's busy slapping some noobs around. Yeah, at least I'm letting it look close. Uh, let's see. Arsenal pass. Okay. This happens. Make a token and... Six. Two floating. Pumbles have I seen? I've seen two blues and one red. You can see how I'm keeping the uh, threat density of my deck right up, right? Yeah, a little bit. I definitely gave up mm -hmm. a little bit of that for sure. Yeah, and I'm. You also notice I've still got a lot of uh, defense reactions left in, but um. To do that and to still have like a like a seven or eight card deck size advantage is still pretty uh pretty good to have equipment up as well. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're definitely it's keeping just, um, some things. It's definitely um, just where you pick to take damage. Right. Yeah, I'll definitely want to run back at least one more if you're down after this. Yeah, cool. Uh, well, you are definitely have a good chance of that being a pummel. If I only block six, it still crushes and pummels. Throwing three cards at that still feels terrible, though. Hmm. Key thing is, if you block six and I get to pummel it, then I get the free tech plate. Right. But at the same time, like uh, going from 10 to 6 is not a good spot to be. No. And 3 card block. If it is a pummel, you turn still nothing. Eight. Well, eight's a, uh, an awkward number. Yep, uh, Arsenal pass. I think there you basically get to rule out red pummel. Yep. Uh, block three. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you did burn a lot of uh, defense reactions really early, making the uh, Terra Sunders really good late. And instead I should be, what, like, pitching them? Yeah. You, you'll notice... Um, like, if we do a check. Yeah, so I've still got about three or four defense reactions left in. I think you're complete. Oh, you, you should be completely up. I think you might have one unmovable left or something. Oh, one sink. And you were basically just doing that by, like, actively pitching them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you've got about three left as well. Well, let's see. Yeah, I think um, people use Terra Sunder too early. Like, it's a late game bridging card, I think. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I've been kind of starting to think that, but I think you've kind of confirmed it here. Well, the only answer I really have here is by doing a sync. And correct me if I'm wrong, you can, if you draw into another zero card, or another, uh, oh no, no, it's dominated. No, you can only so use one from hand. Right. But like, if this wasn't dominated, you can use a defense reaction that you draw from sync, correct? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna hit. Oh, so take three and discard two. Four. Three. Make a token. Seven. Four. Up three. Once again, awkward. 
Probably should have kept that staunch in hand. Yeah, because I can only get up to six here. Yeah. Draw pass. Make a token. Five. Floating two. two. Float. Four. It's pretty obvious when I block the red pummel there, right? Sorry, what? The fact that I blocked with a crippling and the red pummel there. And I've just come in for four and that you're assuming this is a pummel. Yeah. And I think I've only seen two red pummels, if I'm not mistaken. One, two, yep. Two reds, two blues. Okay. Hmm. So if it's a blue, I'll go up to uh, eight. If it's a red, it goes to 10. I just hope it's not the red. I'm just gonna sit you. <laughs> Six. Oh, let me think about this. unmovable so you see um by representing the uh, the pummel earlier knowing it was the unmovable i got a lot of free value off you there yeah make a token so we know that by now you've got staunch and unmovable uh six Four. Uh, red pummel. Oop. Take one. Yep, there it is. Yep. What would you yeah, say so the Keith... biggest pieces of advice you could give me? Um, not to blow everything so early. 
um, you need to think about how you think the opponent's going to play the mirror. Um, like, yeah, I think I could have been a bit more uh, patient. Like, I could have probably stayed about 20, 25 life in that game. Um, but yeah, like, every time you just run things out, like, you have to try and wear down the equipment before you try and push attacks through. Um, you've got to put the life total pressure on them. Um, you need to think about your uh, your end game. Uh, try and sell that your arsenal is something that it's not. Like, um, I think I got like an extra three cards off you just from that being an unmovable, not a pummel. Right. Yeah. Any other Take key misplays that. that you noticed? Um, probably the way that you're blocking. Like, um, you weren't blocking enough. Um, like, I think you could have preserved your life total a bit more. Like, blocking with a zealous for two instead of attacking with it for five is a bit weird i think sorry say that one more time so you were blocking with um red zealous for two instead of playing it and attacking for five like the difference there is that five is going to get like one card out of my deck and two damage when all you're doing is preventing two damage so theoretically you're you get like um parity if not advantage by playing the zealous i think 